Today we're gonna to be making the perfect pie crust. So we're gonna start off by using a food processor and we're gonna mix one cup of flour with a half a teaspoon of salt. We're gonna add a third of a cup of butter plus one tablespoon and I just kind of cut mine into smaller pieces but they're really cold right out of the refrigerator. I don't you know, let these soften up at all. And then all we're gonna do is put our crust in the food processor and we're just gonna puree it until it breaks up into little pieces. So you want it the consistency kind of a fine sand and that's how it's gonna look. So we're gonna go ahead at this point and we're gonna start adding some water. So we're gonna do about a tablespoon at a time and I make sure that it's really cold ice water. And just give that a little stir. And you'll know it's ready when this dough starts pulling away from the uh, from the from the food processor. See how the sound is changing? That's the way we want it, just like this. It's kind of a nice doughy consistency. So all we're gonna do now is put it in a piece of plastic and stick it in the refrigerator for 15 to 20 minutes, and then we'll roll it out. So since I'm just making a quiche tonight, I only made enough for one crust, but if you wanna do a two crust, then I'm gonna leave that in the description below just so you can see how much ingredients you'll need to use for that. So all I'm gonna do is just pull everything away from the food processor and wrap it up just like this. Now I kind of bring it together once it's in the plastic. Just like this. I kind of just shape it into a little, either a ball or a disc. I just want the dough to kind of form together, just like this. And now I'm gonna stick it in the refrigerator and I'm gonna take it out and I'll show you how I roll it into a nice pie dough. Pie crust, this is the pie dough. See you in a few minutes. So if you've never used a food processor before, it's one of those things that just makes everything easier. So I have a large food processor, it's a Cuisine Art, and then I've also got the smaller food processor that I'm using today, and that is a KitchenAid. So I'm gonna go ahead and link them both in the description below. If you're interested in looking at something like that, perhaps you can find a good de uh, deal for it. It's Black Friday, Cyber Monday, Christmas sales, after Christmas sales, and maybe it's time, uh, you know, if you can find a, an opportunity to buy one that it's, you know, something that you might be able to add to your collection in your, your uh, kitchen and really enjoy. It really makes your life easier. So we'll be back in just a few minutes and I'm gonna show you how I roll out the pie dough and get it all ready and then, uh, You'll know how to make the perfect pie crust. If you're enjoying this video today, can you give me a like or a thumbs up or consider subscribing to my channel? Thanks a lot. So the first thing I wanna do is just flour my hands and I am gonna put a little bit of flour on the board, but not a whole lot. I don't want this to be a real tough dough. The less that you work it, the better. Honestly, that's the way it works with dough. So what we're gonna do is just, we've got this in kind of a disc form, and I'm gonna just put this on here and start rolling. Now, as I'm going through this, goodness gracious, as I'm going through this process, I'm gonna keep turning it over and over. I don't want it to stick. And so I've got a little thing of flour here right next to where I'm working. And I'm just going to, again, just put a little bit of flour on my hands. 
just get this started. Once you get the dough started, it's really easy. It doesn't keep uh, sticking once it kind of rolls out a little. It's kind of weird the way it works. But we're just going to give this a little, a little roll. We want to keep checking it because we don't want it to stick. And it's, it's kind of hard to roll out initially because it's been in the refrigerator. So remember, it made your dough a little bit harder. So we're just going to keep turning it. Look how beautiful this looks. Keep turning it, rolling it. And now you can see it's really starting to, to take shape. A little easier to roll out. All right, this looks pretty good. I know this moves around a lot. Sometimes I do this right on the uh, right on the board. There you go. I think that's going to be just just perfect. Maybe a little bit more right in here. Make sure you can see this. Alrighty, now all I'm gonna do at this point is fold this in half, just like so. And I actually lift it up just to make sure it's not sticking. And I put my pie pan here. I'm going to take this and just put it on half of the pan. And then I'm going to move my pie dough right on top of the other half. And then I just want to push it right into the pan because I want it to set flat on the bottom. Look how nice this dough is. It's so easy to work with. It's beautiful. All right. So the next step is that I go around my pie dough and I leave about maybe a half an inch around the pie. I want it even because I'm gonna tuck it under and make a nice little, a little siding for my crust here. It's very easy. For some reason, this made a pretty big pie. I don't know, it doesn't usually make this much dough, but that's okay. I'd rather have a little more than not enough. And that's looking really good. All right. Okay, so what I'm gonna do at this point is you can do it a lot of different ways. You can go around with a fork, you can cut it off with a knife, you can do it any way you want. I actually like to roll mine under I like a little bit of bite of crust up at the top of the pie. I just go around and tuck this under. And this is also a good thing to do if you're doing like a fruit pie or something, you don't want everything running out of the pie. And there you go. Now what I do is I just take my fingers and another finger and I just make a little crimped edge mainly because I like the way this looks. <laughs> I just think it looks really pretty on my pie. So I'm just gonna go around the outside of the edge and there you go, the perfect pie crust. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of plastic over this. I'm just gonna put a little plastic over it because tonight I'm gonna be making a cake. So give it a try the next time you wanna put together a crust, whether it be for a sweet pie or quiche or turkey pot pie or what have you. It's so easy. If you've got flour and butter, water and salt, that's all it takes to make your own pie crust. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.